YouTube, Mark Hoffman here, and today I want to talk about Victorian Ox and what they're doing wrong in the market today. Now, there's quite a few things that they're doing wrong in the market, and I'm just going to be pointing out two things. Blade steel and one crucial feature that I think they should change on the main blade. So it's not um, a secret that Victorinox blade steel is something that is soft, um, easy to resharpen and easy to polish. It's great, but I think they should be offering another steel option for people that want something a little more heavy duty. And if that's gonna be like a Swedish steel or a uh, American steel, I know they wanna use um, all Swiss components and everything, but offer something different in blade steel. I think that would be really good. Would I wanna see this in S35VN? Uh, not really, I mean, Sure, it'd be cool, but I'd probably prefer maybe like 154CM or maybe even a uh, 14C28N, you know, just something a little bit better than what they're offering. So that's it for the blade steel. Um, it's not really a hidden fact that they probably should upgrade. They have done different blade steels and other knives, and uh, one of them being a uh, 1.44, no, 4116 steel, which is okay, but it's not the best either. Um, they, they have ventured into other steels. The other thing I think they're doing wrong, and I think they should really, really work on, is the, you know what, I will leave this one out and take the Huntsman away, um, is this design. They... Now this here is the cap lifter on a Victorinox. And you can see in here that there is a little rib. Now let me get some paper here and let me get a writing utensil. Okay, so early on Victorinox, here is our first gen, okay? Gen, okay, first gen. Early on Victorinox had a simple back spring Okay, there is the back spring. The back of the can opener was originally curved, okay? The can opener was originally like that, okay? Then they moved over to a second gen, and that was the back spring, but then they made their can opener with a half stop which enabled it to be a little more secure on the opened end and for being able to strip the wires because you can actually take the blade and then take the wire and cut the surrounding around the wire. So that was the second gen. The third gen is going to be this design where the back spring actually has like a riv or a, a uh, dent in it and I kind of messed that up and then the the uh, can opener has a divot like this okay so it's kind of a half stop but when it is open like this it actually has a soft lock on it that is why it can be kind of tricky to close this and it has such a nice tension to it. This is what they're doing wrong. They need to take that same system and implement it into their main blade. I think if, Victor Nor if Victorinox did that and implemented that same feature instead of just doing a solid half stop, on their main blade and implemented this little divot or rivet right here or whatever that is over there, they would have a very soft locking main blade. That would differentiate it from the smaller blade. I mean, of course it's gonna be differentiated because of size, but it's going to be a more solid lockup for that main blade. And I think if Victorinox did that, that would be a significant departure from all their other knives they've produced. 
and I mean, excluding the 111 millimeters, which do have a lock on it, I think that would be a very good option for them to do that. It would allow people to have a little bit of a more secure lockup on the blade without it actually locking and probably would give people a more satisfied um, experience regarding um, the safety of the knife. Now, of course, if you're using the knife and it's closing on you and it's cutting your fingers up like that, you're using the knife the wrong way. Um, you always should cut away from yourself and you should never have an opportunity where it should close up on you. But if they implemented that, I think you would have a more sturdy lockup and it would be harder to disengage that main blade. Like it is harder to disengage the can opener. Now I understand why they do this. They do this because you're gonna be using this as a screwdriver, but I think it'd be a great feature to have on a Victorinox main blade. So that is my critique of modern day uh, Victorinox knives. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. And if the diagram made sense, let me know. Um, I don't really know how to do CAD drawings or anything like that on a computer, so I use my hand and a pencil. So thank you guys again for joining me. Until the next video, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.